Hi, my name is Jim Sinesco with AFC International, and today I'm going to give you um, a real brief tutorial on how to calibrate your Q-Ray 3s. Now, the Q-Ray 3 um, that I have today is an internal pump unit. Um, they do make it into diffusion, and I can uh, go through that on another video. But for pumped instruments, and you've heard me talk about this for years, AFC always uh, includes a T uh, when we do calibrations. Um, whenever you have a pumped instrument, um, and especially this T-Ray 3, because it actually they, they've given you a T in when you purchase the instrument to be used for calibration, I wanted to show you how to use that T and how to calibrate a Q-Ray 3. So Q-Ray 3 has the a filter and a, the pump inlet right at the top of the unit. This is, happens to be a four gas instrument, LEL, oxygen, uh, carbon monoxide, H2S. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you have the proper gas mix. Now, um, a lot of people say, well, do I need to use the manufacturer's gas? Well, you know, out of courtesy, we like to use the manufacturer's gas whenever possible, right? But as far as gas goes, this happens to be a cylinder from Portagas. They are a, uh, a third-party vendor for gas, very, very good quality gas. You've heard me talk about them on, on other videos, and this is their Porta Green cylinder. Um, but you will see that it doesn't really matter gas is gas and the most important thing you need to understand is as long as they give you a certificate of accuracy and precision then that gas is good and there should be an accuracy statement and in this case the port uh, gas company has put accuracy and precision statement right here plus or minus 10 percent but what's important here is we have to use the exact same concentrations the manufacturer asks for in their instrument now, the Q-Ray 3 um, is asking for 50 percent LEL methane 10 part per million H2S, 50 part per million carbon monoxide, and 18% oxygen. So all you have to do is basically match that up. And you can see here, my concentrations in this Porta Green, Porta Gas cylinder are exactly the same. All four in one cylinder, okay? When you purchased your, your Q-Ray 3, you got a little T, a calibration T came in this, this little baggie just like this right here. And the calibration T just consists of some tubing, and it's a T. Okay, one has an, a, a fitting adapter that would go on the end of your cylinder regulator. The other one is a connection that goes right into the, the tip of your instrument. And this leg is just a third leg to allow any kind of gas to escape on the out, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect up the instrument or the uh, the calibration T to the regulator. This is a fixed flow regulator from Ray Systems. And the key thing here is you got to make sure you use a regulator that has a flow that's greater than the draw of your instrument. If this regulator doesn't have a draw or a flow greater than the instrument, well then the third leg of the T is going to act as a dilution probe. And that'll reduce the gas concentration that we have in the cylinder. Now, you do not want to be using a regulator. I want to show this because I've seen people do this. A demand flow regulator when using a T. A demand flow regulator could be used in, in lieu of a T. I don't particularly care for them. They put too much back pressure on the sensors. But don't be confused and use a demand flow that you have with another instrument with a Cal T. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and attach the, the regulator to the cylinder. Okay. I'm going to attach this end of the T to the regulator. The barb fitting. Sometimes it's a snug fit, but if you work at it, you'll get it. I don't know if you can see it, but I've got it halfway on. All right, there we go. I'm going to lay the cylinder on, on its side for now. I'm going to use my demand flow to hold it in place. Take my instrument, Q-Ray 3, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and get into the calibration mode. On Array Systems, it's mode in no, or mode in yes in this case. And it's going to ask me for a password. Sometimes, if it's not password protected, you can go right into the calibration, and it, it, you'll scroll down till you see multi-span. Can you see that? Multi-span. 
I'm going to hit yes and select. I'm going to go ahead and connect up. Quick lock fitting. It says quit or start. I'm going to go ahead and hit get the gas going, turn it on, and I'm going to hit the start. I don't know if you can see that, but it's counting down from 60 seconds. So what's happening here, the gas is coming out, in this case a one liter per minute regulator. It's going right up into the instrument. And any excess is coming out the third leg. So what this means is the instrument is basically pulling at its own rate. The pump is pulling at its own rate. Any excess is coming out the third. Now we've always talked about T's in the past. So race systems, I'm happy uh, that they've actually included the T for you. What you wouldn't want to do is just not use just tubing and force the gas in without a T. A pump that doesn't pull will actually be calibrated by forcing the gas through the system. And then when you go out into the field to use it, it would then cease to work because it's not pulling anything in and it would be zero all the time. That's very, very dangerous. It's calibrating. It's down to zero. It gives me all my readings of my instrument. It says pass, 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 pass. Instrument goes into alarm. At that point, I can shut my gas off. I can disconnect my T. Show you that. And all I have to do is hit the exit choice, exit. Scroll down to where it says exit. Scroll over to the exit on the main menu. And I'm back in business. Instrument's been fully calibrated. Zero, 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 20.9. If you'd like, you can reconnect up to the gas. I like to do this. It's called post bumping. Turn the gas on. Start counting. 1,000, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14. And I can see all my sensors are in alarm. H2S, LEL, O2, oxygen. I can also grab my echo view, and the echo view is going into alarm because it's telling me one of my meters is getting gassed. And that's cool. So that's what's going on in the background here. It's a secondary thing. Shut my gas off. Disconnect. And the instrument shall slowly come out of alarm because we're not giving it gas anymore. And we go to work. So what I've shown you here is how to calibrate using the T that comes with the instrument. I've also showed you how simple it is to calibrate. I've also showed you a post bump. Post bump is all we're doing is giving it the same gas we use to calibrate just to make in normal operation mode, just to make sure that we didn't screw up and everything is working right. And as an added bonus, you got to hear my echo view go off in the background, which is the wireless uh, device that sees gas detectors up to, in this case, 600 feet. So um, very cool. Ray systems, neat, cool, interest, interesting instruments. Uh, Q-Ray 3 pumped, very great. Now, if you're going to do a, a pumped, uh, non-pumped Q-Ray 3, you wouldn't use the T. You'd use the same regulator, use the Cal adapter that they give you, but you would not use a T. Jim Sinesco for AFC, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, give us a call at 800-952-3293 or reach us on our website, www.afcintl.com. We're also on Facebook, so please like us there and come visit us. And again, we appreciate your business. Uh, be safe out there. Thank you.